Today was a beautiful end to June and we are going to be heating things up as we head into your first day of July. At this hour, still comfortable. We've got some 70s and 60s quiet weather on the Skynet of Bay City and it will remain quiet as we head through the overnight. Still rather comfortable. Dew points have generally been in the 50s, but we are seeing a few 60s starting to move in and we will be seeing these increase as we head into your Monday. So what does this mean? It's going to be muggy as we head through the day Monday. You're definitely going to be feeling it. We like to see these dew points in the 50s and lower. That means we've got some drier air in place. Once you get into the 60s and definitely into the 70s, it starts to feel tropical. By tomorrow, we'll see these more so in the 70s, so maybe a little bit more of a tropical feel to the air. Temperatures will also be warming up. We'll see some more mid to upper 80s. We'll sh we should stay dry through the first half of the day, but as we head into the afternoon, especially with the heat and humidity, again, temperatures are going up and dew points are going up. We will be seeing the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms beginning to pop up. We could see a few isolated severe storms, but overall it's a very low risk. The main concern will be the heat, and this is going to be the trend through the week. So let's take a look at the heat index forecast. These are your feels like temperatures. Through the week, you can see they're generally going to be right around that 90 degree mark, so we're really not getting a reprieve from this heat anytime soon. Tomorrow, because of the heat and humidity, maybe a great day to go out to the pool. You can see temperatures about 70 degrees by 10 o'clock, already into the 80s by 1 o'clock. And again, we'll be looking at some mid to upper 80s by 6 o'clock, but that chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So you'll want to keep that activity in the pool a little bit earlier on in the day. Here's a look at satellite and radar. We've been staying dry, dodging some showers and storms that are taking a dive down to our south and west. These are actually riding along a warm front that will be lifting through as we head through the overnight. That's what's going to be bringing all of that extra moisture and those warmer temperatures to the area. So that's why we're going to be seeing a change in the weather as we head into your Monday. As I mentioned, heat and humidity is with us through the week. So that's going to be giving us a chance for some showers and storms really pretty much every day this week. It looks to be more isolated Monday through Wednesday. But then we do have an area of low pressure that will move through Wednesday night into Thursday. And that's going to bring our chances for some of those showers and thunderstorms up a bit. So again, you want to keep those umbrellas handy throughout the week because of that heat and humidity. Of course, I mentioned Thursday, still that chance for some showers and storms. So you might want to keep an umbrella handy if you are going out to see any fireworks on Thursday. It's going to be another hot and humid day with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. And again, those dew points still around 70s through a good portion of the week. We are going to be staying hot and humid through the week, but take a look at the weekend. A little bit of a reprieve, so we're going to cool down into the lower 80s as well as some upper 70s and dew points will finally start to drop, but it's definitely going to be feeling very much like summer as we head through this next week. Hot, humid with a chance, very summer like pattern of showers and thunderstorms pretty much every afternoon. Yep, happens every July. Hazy, yep. hot and humid, right? Yep, it's the typical for July. All right, we'll take it.